This is Chris Hall. He's an ultra cyclist with years of experience. He's ridden across Australia. He's finished Badlands three times and come top 10 in the national 24 hour time trial. And these are his 10 must have products for bike packing. An emergency bivy bag. Super small, as you can see. It's basically a very lightweight bivy bag that is designed to keep you safe in case of an emergency situation. It weighs nothing, it's super visible. So if you are stuck outside in an emergency situation and you need to be rescued, this thing is gonna allow you to be found. Just put one of these in your bike bag. Why wouldn't you? Because it might save your life at the end of the day. Sorry, Chris, a quick interruption here. Today's video is sponsored by Sturka. So if you want energy bars, gels, salts, carb mix, or any other bits of nutrition, all in a very convenient package, then you might wanna use the link in the video description down below for 25% off your first purchase. Thanks, Sturka, for sponsoring this video. Back to Chris. An absolute must have is a Garmin InReach Mini 2. The thing that's amazing about this is it enables you to communicate with people when you have no phone reception, which is surprisingly often in a lot of events in the middle of nowhere. I like this specific tracker because it's small and compact, battery lasts absolutely ages. This is a way of being able to keep in touch with loved ones, allow them to be able to track you, and you can use it to message using the app, which connects up through your phone. One of the little hacks I will do for this is get yourself a stick-on Garmin mount. It means that you could basically mount this on your stem using a Garmin computer mount and that means that the antenna is always going to be having connection to satellites effectively. It's such a great peace of mind knowing that I've got this that if something was to happen I can call in some help. Water filtration system. This one is a Soya water filtration system. I took this to Kyrgyzstan and I was basically riding in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the night and I'd run out of water. Now having something like this means you can literally go into a river, a puddle, a stream, a lake, whatever it is, you fill the bag up with water, you screw on the filter and you can otherwise drink through here or you can squeeze it through into a, a bead on or a water bottle or whatever. There's way more situations than you would expect where you run out of water and just having something like this means that you can cover yourself in that situation. It's super small, it takes up no room and it's just a really, really good way to make sure you're continually keeping yourself hydrated. You're not hydrated, that's where trouble starts to happen. Dynamo lights. Now, if you don't know what a dynamo is, it's basically one of these. This is a hub which you would build into a front wheel on a bicycle and effectively it spins around which then generates electricity to allow you to charge lights or anything you want. For me, running with a dynamo light setup means that you've always got lights on, you're always visible, you can see, you can kind of keep yourself safe and allow other people to see you. If a dynamo isn't for you, make sure you've got a spare set of lights, something like this, this big bad boy, which means that you're always gonna be able to light up the trails or the roads where you're going. This has got amazing battery life of like 36 hours or something, which generally speaking is gonna be loads for most people. I personally like to run both. The dynamo light is always on, so it helps with being visible in daytime and nighttime. And when the trails are a bit gnarly, I put one of these on just so that I can see everything. Hydration vest. I think a hydration vest is a must have piece of kit because it allows you to carry more water and to basically carry additional food and stuff on it. This particular one I really like because there's loads of pockets on it, which allow you to store, I don't know, cards, gels, anything like that in there. And these pockets on the front, which expand more to be able to fit more into them. So in the back of this vest, there is a bladder, which will hold water or whatever you want to put into it. And this is basically a drinking tube that runs over my shoulder to here and allows me to have a drink. I like the fact that the tube has a magnet on it, so it sticks on there and it stays on your chest. It means it's not annoying when you're riding around with it. In many ultras in countries like Spain, Australia, warmer climates, you really need to make sure you're carrying enough water because you will run out very, very quickly. And a hydration vest is a really easy way to increase the amount of water that you've got on you. You do get some hydration vests that are more designed around cycling, but you can also get ones that are designed around running. Personally, the running ones do not work for me in a cycling context. So if you're thinking about getting one, make sure you purchase one that is designed to work when you're riding your bike. So with this hydration vest, you've got a large reflective panel and a light loop, which can help increase your visibility. Some ultra races require you to have some kind of high-vis vest or something that you wear at night. So if you can incorporate all into one thing, 
it's just a no-brainer to me. You do look like a turtle. I do look like a little turtle, don't I? It's because mm -hmm. it's green as well, right? A good quality, robust battery pack. These things are f***ing indestructible. You need a battery pack just to charge things, phones, lights, whatever it is, especially if you're in the middle of nowhere. This particular one is how many muhas? How many muhas are you? I don't know how many muhas it is, but you can get tons of different size muha battery packs. This particular brand, they're called Zenja. I've been buying these ones for years. They just seem to last forever. I've actually ran over, I think this one in a car. Still works, it's fine actually. Tailfin's top tube bag. A top tube bag is such a great way to be able to store snacks, to be able to charge stuff from it. It's waterproof. They use their mounting system with the straps and the rubber bits at the bottom so it doesn't damage your frame. You can bolt it on and they've tapered the shape on it so it doesn't rub on your legs. I've tried many other top tube bags and tend to get like rub on the sides. I've used Tailfin products for pretty much every single Ultra I've done. What I think is great about their range is everything is really well designed and thought through before it's released. They test it all through their R&D division and I'm lucky to be part of that to get to test prototype products before they're released. So I am part of Tailfin's R&D division, so I am sponsored by the brand, but I've been using their products for probably five or so years and I bought my first Aero Pack and I'm just honestly so amazed of it. Really well designed and engineered products that are practical and they work. Wolf tooth, chain, tool, thing. I don't know what it's called. Wolftooth makes some really, really good tools. This particular one is their chain tool thing. I like it because you can put quick links in it. They're magnetically held in place. It'd be really bad if one fell out now, wouldn't it? And it's just a really convenient and easy way to be able to open and close the chain. I was first shown this product by one of my mates, Matt Faulkner, who's an ultra cycling legend. And we were out on a training ride together and then I snapped my chain. And he showed me this as a quick way to be able to repair it and basically join it back together. It's super small. I've probably had this for like four years now. And one of the things I like about them as a brand is that everything is designed so that if a bit breaks, you can repair it and replace it. They make really, really good stuff, Wolf Tooth. Good. This may be overkill for some people, but I think this is an absolute essential, especially if you're in more remote areas. This is a mini, track pump, which has a gauge on it and literally works like a track pump. I've always found that so often with little hand pumps, you just quite often won't get the pressure in you want. If you're anything like me, you just end up with really sore stiff arms after doing it. So I found this, which effectively opens up like a track pump would. Got a little stand. Put your foot on there, pump away. Just works really, really well. And it's not really much heavier than a little Tiny pump. I bought this after doing Atlas Mountain Race, the first edition, where I had about 14 punches in a very short period of time. And I was using a tiny hand pump and it just annoyed me so much having to pump up the tires. The big thing for me was actually making sure I had enough like pressure in the tires. So having something that has the pressure gauge as well as being a better pump to use ultimately has meant that whenever I've needed to pump a tire up, whether it's because of a puncture or just like air dropping out of it from, you know, burping the tire or something on some rough stuff, this has come in really, really handy. Must go to the gym more and do arms. Tinting lenses. Tinting. Tinting. Tin, 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 tin. Tinting. Tinting? Photochromatic lenses. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I think lenses like this are so good is because you can still wear them at nighttime and you can wear them in the daytime because they tint when it's sunny and then they go clear when it's not sunny. The other big hack for me, bonus feature, is having sunglasses string, I guess it's called. So your sunglasses can just hang. There's so many points in events where you wanna take your sunglasses off, whether you're like climbing or you're just walking around off the bike getting some food and stuff and it's a faff putting them in your helmet. So having these bits of string just means I can just go, oh cool, take them off for five seconds, give them a clean or whatever, and then put them back on and carry on. And let's be honest, sometimes you're just so knackered that you end up spending half an hour trying to put your sunglasses in your helmet, when in reality, you could just hang them like this, and then you don't have to worry about them. Half an hour? Yeah, half an hour. How tired were you? I don't think I'd slept for 22 hours. That is Chris's 10 must-have products for bikepacking. Like, comment, subscribe! <laughs>